So today we're going to have a, a quick look at the Voyager Mac 80. Uh, we're going to do a, an unboxing, uh, go through all the parts you get with it, and then lastly uh, show you how to set it up, put it, everything together. I will create some chapters so if you prefer to, you can watch it in whatever order you like. Uh, the box itself, in total, with the OTA, optical tube assembly, and eyepieces, and the bag inside, weighs about just two kilograms, that's all. And so, for those of you who are still paying for everything in groats, that, that's about two bags of sugar in weight. So, just quickly opening this up. Inside, we find a nice little padded bag here with a carry handle and also a adjustable strap so you can throw it over your shoulder if you're uh, maybe just putting it in the back of the car uh, or, or even going for a walk somewhere. And so inside, turn it around, unclip here, a bit awkward I know, stood behind. I've already unzipped this just to save time and so inside, what do you get inside? This is all still packaged up, I, I will take everything out of the plastic bags shortly. So you have two eyepieces of 10 and 20 millimetres, giving you 40 and 80 magnification. You have a little finder scope, diagonal, a uh, uh, adapter here for putting your smartphone on, which I, I will show how to connect your smartphone to later in the video. A constructions book. And last but by no means least, hopefully, yes, there is one here. The telescope itself. And so what I'll do now, and again, very, very lightweight and compact. What I'll do now then, I'll take everything out of the bags and go through it all in a little bit more detail and show you how to put it all together. So here we are again. Everything out of the box, lens caps and packaging removed to save time. Uh, this is, by the way, the smartphone adapter, which I'll, I'll come on to. I'll, I'll show you a, a tutorial on how to connect a smartphone to that and onto the scope later in the video. And so the OTA itself, again, very lightweight. Uh, remember, it's just um, two kilograms in total with everything included in the bag. This is a, a Max Utsoft uh, Cassegrain design. Uh, 800 millimeters f10 and so if you wanted to use it for prime focus photography you could get a t adapter and t ring and and do that so very very nice optics and so this is the finder scope you get with it which I'll, I'll put on in a short while so you get the diagonal which is uh, face uh, 90 degrees face coated and gives it an erect image so you can use it for terrestrial use as well uh, two eyepieces of 20 millimeters and 10 millimeters, giving 40 and 80 magnification. They they both come with a filter thread, and they can be upgraded at a later date if you want to put uh, higher quality ones on or, or lower or higher powered eyepieces. These are optimized for smartphone imaging. And so, to put the the diagonal in the scope. I've already slackened off these grub screws just to save time. Simply, he says, it's still a tight fit even with the grub screws slackened off. And you, you can actually adjust the angle like that. And when you've got it in the desired position, tighten it into place. And then just get one of the eyepieces Again, just drop it in. I've already, to save time, slackened off the grub screws. Tighten those in again. And then that's it. You, that's all there is to it. The focus is here, by the way, which rather than move the, the uh, focuser on the outside in and out, it moves an internal mirror in, in and out. And uh, so that is how to connect the diagonal and uh, the eyepieces. Both eyepieces are the same size by the way. And so you also get this little finder scope which is erect image as well. The thicker end like this is the side you look through. I know it looks a bit odd but believe me that that is the, the, way, the way you look through. Erect image on the opposite side you screw the focuser in and out to, to get the desired focus. I've already slackened that off and all you do, and it's still a, 
quite a tight fit which is a good thing put it like that tighten it into place and that is pretty much how to set up that all there are lots and lots of videos out there that show you how to uh, adjust a finder scope basically uh, if it's, it's daytime just find something like uh, the corner of a, a, a chimney top get it into focus with the eyepiece look through the finder scope if it's not quite in in the same position move these little grub screws here which move the finder scope in different directions until it, it equals the same view that you're getting through the eyepiece so that's pretty much that part of it uh, so now uh, I will show you how to adjust uh, how to put on the smartphone and I will in the link in the description uh, link to another video I, either in the description or at the end of this one where you'll see some sample images of the moon that I have taken so without further ado we'll show you how to use the smartphone adapter one smartphone adapter one smartphone uh, out of the box when you get it uh, packaged it comes from it like that you just got to open it out like so. You've got a little screw here that you can adjust to move in and out. And all you do, slide the phone in and just, just put it in uh, lightly for, for now, don't over tighten it. And on the opposite side, uh, what you're trying to do is get the, the phone lens there to look through the hole in there. And so all it simple as that, and you can slacken this off here. And so if the eyepiece, the phone uh, camera is on one side or the other, you can move it around like that. So I know it's difficult to show with the angles here, but, but uh, you can maybe just see there. I've, I've lined it up, tightened into place, and the uh, little camera lens there is in position, looking through that hole. So just tighten it up securely and now I will show you how to put it onto the telescope itself. So now we have the smartphone on the adapter all we need to do is put it on the eyepiece. Again two more grub screws which I have slackened off already simply put it on like that, tighten into place and that's it. So all there is to it you can have the change the orientation if you want to whatever suits your composition uh, for best photographs uh, or, or to keep everything steady use a, either a remote or a self timer to take the photographs uh, mount the scope on a sturdy amount as you can possibly afford this is you, you can put it on an astronomical mount, that's a standard Vixen or Skywatch dovetail and it also comes with uh, a, a standard tripod of th thread as well but get a very very sturdy uh, tripod, the best one you can afford uh, again focusing is done uh, with the scope itself, not with the camera so uh, so yeah, uh, it's not auto focus with the camera, you will have to focus the scope and so that's it, a quick look around uh, the Acuta uh, Mac 80, unboxing, everything that you get inside the box and how to set up. So I hope this helps. Link to buy in the description. Thank you very much for watching and I'll see you next time.